The one thing I don't like about peak acceleration is it kind of telegraphs what you're trying to do here. I knew he was going to do that. Okay, um. I'll you know, screw you. <laughs> no teal dancing for you. What's up, everyone? It's Tim from Tim Plays a Game here with Pokemon TCG Live playing on PC. Tonight, we're looking at Future Box, uh, specifically Iron Thorns EX uh, Future Box. I did do, I think, yeah, I did do a Future Box video in the past with uh, Iron Hands e uh, EX. But uh, since we got Iron Thorns EX in the previous set, Twilight Masquerade, it has gotten a degree that that, uh, that uh, Future Box needed. Just the ability to counter. Uh, certain stronger Pokemon, EX Pokemon, Radiant Pokemon, any Rollbox Pokemon that has the, these abilities. Uh, the new Teal Mask, Ogre Pond, this is the first thing that comes to mind. Uh, yeah, Charizard, uh, Pidgeot EX. Pidgeot EX is a big one, so <laughs> this thing hates Pidgeot EX. <laughs> but let's talk about the card. Okay, Iron Thorns EX, 230 electric, 230 HP electric. Uh, Basic EX Pokemon. It's a future Pokemon. It's a yeah, so about the same as Iron Hands EX in that in that regard. The ability is where this card shines. Initialization. As long as this Pokemon is in the active spot, it has to be in the active spot, can't be on the bench. Pokemon with a rule box in play, that means anywhere on your yeah, it means your side and your opponent's side, bench, active, have no abilities unless they're future Pokemon. And then it goes into more detail, like Pokemon EX, Pokemon V, Pokemon, and Radiant Pokemon, they all have roll boxes. So those abilities are gone. No Rotom V, Lo no Lumineon V, no Charizard EX <laughs> powers, no Pidgeot EX powers, no Radiant Charizard powers, no Radiant Greninja powers, no Radiant Alakazam powers. Screw all y'all. <laughs> Uh, and then the Attack Volt Cyclone is not that great, but I mean, it, it, it actually works. For this one, uh, 140 uh, for electric energy and two colorless. That means two of any energy. We're only using electric energy in this deck. Uh, so three electric energy, 140 damage, and you have to move one of those energies from this Pokemon to one of your bench Pokemon. If you have bench Pokemon. If you don't have any bench Pokemon, you don't have to move any. But we're going to have bench Pokemon. Because <laughs> you want to keep. I want to keep two, two of these guys. One in the active spot and one on the bench. Uh, I like to get future booster capsules on them so I can keep retreating them, cycling them around, passing that one energy down each time to the other one. <laughs> it's kind of fun to watch. But uh, yeah, this if you can keep at least one Iron Thorns in the active spot at all times, uh, you're golden. You can really wreck an opponent's strategy. We're running, uh, we're running three of the Iron Thorns EX. We got Iron Hands EX. We got two of them. Uh, this one is for more of the lower HP Pokemon, more of the uh, lost... Lost uh, boxed battle uh, game or anything low HP. Uh, Ampy very much is the main attack here for four energy, uh, 120 damage. And if it knocks out a Pokemon from the attack, I can take one more prize card. So yeah, anything small or weak, I can take t two prize cards. If I knock out an EX, I take three prize cards. If I take if I take out a V Ma a V Max, like anyone actually plays those four, <laughs> the list goes on. You get it. One more prize card. Uh, we got four Iron Crown EX in here. This is for power. Um, in one of my other game, in my last game, unfortunately, I've already recorded this. I've already recorded the battle. <laughs> in the last game, um, I accidentally, I, I probably should not have played too many of these. Play them sparingly is what I can say. But it's uh, ability Cobalt Command. Attacks used by future Pokemon except Iron Crown EX do 20 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. This Pokemon basically sits on the bench. It's a bench warmer. Uh, it just sits there. It applies 20 more damage to the uh, attacks like uh, Iron Thorns and Iron Crown, or sorry, Iron Thorns and Iron Hands, and and Maridon. So yeah, you want you want this thing on the bench. The problem is it gets boss ordered a lot. It gets countered, catchered. It gets brought up a lot. I recommend holding a future booster capsule in your hand or having a switch card at the ready just in case you have to retreat it and bring it back. We have one Mew EX in here for draw power. This is a thing. This is where the deck clashes. I even mentioned this in one of the battles. Iron Thorns EX will negate that ability if it's in the active spot. Again, that initialization affects your opponent and it affects your Pokemon uh, with roll boxes. Mew EX has a roll box. So restart, but if 
We can, we can always pull Maridon in, or if we have Iron Hands in, then we can always... Or we, if we have Mew in the active spot, we can just use that ability to restart once during your turn. You may draw until you have three cards in your hand. This deck eats up cards a lot. So, yeah, you will... There are, there are instances, and because of the way I have it, there are instances where you will have a low hand count, one or two cards in your hand, so restart gives you another card. It's not great draw power, it's just a little added extra. Now, Maridon here, this is where the future deck shines. Uh, the ability to pull energy uh, with peak acceleration, that's all we're using it for. Search your deck for two basic energy cards, attach them to your future Pokemon in any way you like, which is great, which is freaking amazing. Love this guy. <laughs> that's all we use it for. The peak acceleration also does 40 damage. You can power that up with a bunch of Iron Crowns and uh, future Booster Capsule if you want. I yeah, definitely recommend putting an energy, electric energy in a future booster capsule and then send, sending out Maridon. Have Iron Hands or Iron Thorns down and start pulling electric energy onto them. We also have Electric Generator to, to quicken this process. Look at the top five cards of your deck. Attach up to two basic energies. Electric energies you find there onto your bench Pokemon. Again, it has to be benched. Bench Pokemon. Bench Electric Pokemon. Shuffle the other cards back in your deck. Generally, I usually pull up one or two with this deck because I do have... Yeah, a quarter of this deck is Electric Energy. I have 15 of those, so you will find at least one... I mean, if, if you, there are ways to thin out your deck to, to increase this, the chances of getting them, but it does kind of rely on probability. So I do run four of those. We have one Lost Vacuum here because... There are a lot of the, this. The problem, the one of the things where this deck suffers is uh, high HP Pokemon, and there are uh, item cards that can boost HP, like Hero's Cape, uh, Bravery Charm, uh, Ancient Booster Energy Capsule for the Ancient variant. So we need to we need to do something about that. <laughs> also, there are some Stadium cards that can be annoying. <laughs> so we got we have Lost Vacuum in that instance to get rid of those. Nest Ball uh, to pull out uh, basic Pokemon. It's kind of... I kind of use it mainly to pull out Mew EX. If I don't want to fill up my bench or if I don't want to, like... If I only need, like, just one Pokemon instead of using the Techno Radar, which I have to discard a card for, I can just play Nest Ball and pull out that Pokemon. No cost. Uh, we have Prime Catcher here. Prime Catcher, switch in one of your opponent's bench Pokemon to the active spot. If you do, switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. Great little card to have, especially if they're pulling out uh, like Pokemon like Iron Hands and you need to get retreat that. We have Switch Card and we have Future Booster Castle, but if we need to retreat something that has a high retreat cost, these guys have high retreat cost. Uh, Prime Catcher really helps. Um, and then also it works kind of like a boss order. You can select what you want. This is... It, there, there are some people who will say you should use uh, whatever that Future one is the future that one's not good that there's a future a spec that's just not good I, I i tried to make it good it works if you have like iron leaves but getting both iron leaves and that one a spec is no is really annoying so no honestly this is better because and it works really well with arvin we have one switch cart for emergency purposes we have two techno four techno radar what was i saying techno radar is the main uh card you want to get out first turn probably with arvin Usually with Arvin, I'll get out Future Booster Capsule and Techno Radar. And, uh, yeah, summon out, like, like either bring out Mar Maridon or... with tech Yeah, bring out Maridon with Techno Radar. You have to discard a uh, card from your hand in order to pull up two future Pokemon from your deck, reveal them, put them into your hand. That's great. Um, I, I'll usually grab an Iron Crown and a Maridon. I usually, sometimes I'll start with an Iron Thorns EX. Or if I have, yeah... But if I, if I have any Pokemon, basically, I try to get the Maridon out with it. And then I can bring that out, start energizing my Pokemon. And then maybe either bring out an Iron Hands or an Iron Thorns and power and use Maridon's ability to power that up. We have Town Store here because we do run, because the items are crucial in this deck. We have six of them. Uh, we need to get them out ASAP. Town Store helps with that. So once during each player's turn, that player may search their deck for a Pokemon tool, reveal it, and put it into their hand. Um, I like to use this mainly to counter my opponent's uh, item, uh, stadium cards, but it also works for my opponent, which can be bad, which is why we have the Lost Vacuum. <laughs> you can also use Lost Vacuum on yourself if you want to change the change around your item cards for something, but I don't recommend doing that. I think I'd rather just play wisely. <laughs> so we have Town Store to pull out more item cards. Arvin here is one of the best supporters for this deck. Holy crap. 
Uh, you get to search your deck for one item card and one Pokemon tool. The town store is great, but it only works once per turn. You're going to want to lay down some future booster capsules, especially on these guys with their four retreat costs. <laughs> uh, you're going to want to lay down some heavy batons on Iron Hands. So, yeah, Arvin works great to get those item cards, the, the tool cards out. Um, like I said, with Arvin, I'll probably grab Prime Catcher first. If I need, if I absolutely need to power up uh, some electric Pokemon, I'll get Electric Generator. If I absolutely need to bring out more, uh, more future Pokemon, Techno Radar. Really, a lot of ways I can go with this, but those are kind of the three I'll, gra I'll grab with it, usually. Uh, Techno Radar if I need Pokemon, Electric Generator if I need Energy, Prime Catcher if I need to get a knockout. <laughs> we have two boss orders here that work kind of like Prime Catcher, just I can't retreat my Pokemon. I can retreat my I just can't pull back my Pokemon. But this one allows me to snipe out which cards I want to take out. It is a supporter, though, so that is my supporter for the turn. Yeah, this deck is supporter heavy, but there is good reason for it. Iono, we have two of these. This is mainly... I hate to use it as draw power, but it is kind of how it works sometimes. I also like to use it to... If, I, if I'm trying to go for a win scenario where we reach down to certain prize cards, or if they, he has, if I have more prize cards than my opponent, Iono works really well in uh, pulling out more cards and bringing my opponent down to like one or two cards in their hand. I try, to, I try to save it for that. Sometimes I have to use it early game, which is painful because it also helps my opponent in that instance. Uh, Professor's Research. This is probably the better draw power for this deck. Discard your hand, draw seven cards. Like I said, with this deck, you'll probably be using most of the cards in it. So have it, you won't have two... There won't be... Unless you're, your bench is full and you got plenty of energy and you got, yeah, and you got everything the way you want it, you're probably not going to... Probably your hand's probably not going to be too big, so discarding your entire hand would probably be like discarding one or two cards, uh, and then you get a full hand of seven cards, which is great draw power. Uh, future booster energy capsule, we got four of those. This one is the savior of uh, Iron Thorns EX, which makes it playable. Future Pokemon this card is attached to has no retreat cost, and its attacks do twenty more damage. So right now, this guy that four retreat cost goes away. <laughs> Uh, it, also, it powers up Maridon's Peak Acceleration Attack to a respectable 60, which can knock out certain things. So yeah, this, uh, this little capsule here does a lot for this deck. Especially with the no retreat cost. Sometimes I'll throw, if uh, someone bosses out an Iron Crown EX and I can pull it back, I have the ability to pull it back, I'll just throw the booster capsule on it, retreat it. It's kind of a waste of a booster capsule, which is why I'd rather use Switch Cart in that instance. But if it's easier to get out, with, especially with the uh, Town Store and Arvin. We got the Heavy Baton. If the Pokemon this, this card is attached to has a retreat cost of exactly four, which we have five Pokemon in this deck that do that. <laughs> it is in the active spot and is knocked out by damage from an attack from your opponent. Uh, move up to three basic energy cards from that Pokemon to your bench Pokemon in any way you like. This is great. I like to put this on Iron Hands EX. Sometimes I'll put it on Iron Thorns EX. And then when it gets knocked out, I can move it to another Iron Thorns or I put it, move it to the Iron Hands. Or a little sneaky thing I like to do is I like to move the three energy onto Mew EX in a last ditch resort. I've actually got someone with this at the Orlando Regional. Uh, I moved all, I, I used Iron Hands EX to move the three electric energy onto the Mew EX, sent out the Mew EX against a Charizard EX. <laughs> we were down to one prize card each, and I used Genome Hackening on that Blazing whatever, Blazing Darkness attack. I uh, knocked out the Charizard in one hit. <laughs> It was glorious, <laughs> and I got the win. Yeah, it's a little sneaky attack you can use. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's uh, one thing I like to do with Heavy Baton is I like to I can move that on to... You can, you can use Mew EX as a last-ditch resort attacker after that. And then the 15 Electric Energy. So, this deck has been running pretty well. Let's, uh, let's get into the game and see how we do. Looks like we'll be going first in this game, even though this is really more of a second turn... Yeah, I'm more of a second turn deck. Ooh, that's not good. <laughs> professor's Research, Boss's Orders, two Professor's Research. Ooh, we might be going up against another Future Box. One that runs Iron Leaves. Ah, it is a Future Box. Okay, wow. <laughs> this will be a very close mirror match. Alright, how do I want to play this? Problem is, this doesn't do anything now. Initialization only, uh, does not target off. It, it, it has the exception for future Pokemon. Okay. Uh, 
play this. I need to raise a lot of heavy batons, yeah. I get the Maridon, and... Wow, this is kind of a tough choice here. Um... Just thinking, we're playing the mirror match here, so... Because Iron Thorns' ability won't do anything in this match, so. <laughs> Look, I said this is more of a second turn deck. Probably gonna use Peak Acceleration on whatever he gets, probably uh, Iron Hands EX. Gonna use Arvin to get a Techno Radar and a Future Booster Energy Capsule. Oh, Electric Generator, okay. Yeah, it really wants to power up that Iron Hands then. Hope he doesn't whiff. Oh, okay, got one. Yeah, Electric Generator has been really weird for me. Either I get two or I get none at all. <laughs> later game later in the game i'll get like probably one all right so there's this it's gonna put the other two energy onto the iron hands i was actually kind of trying to draw out that lost vacuum if he had it does not look like he has lost vacuum yet at least Boss's orders. Ooh. Yeah, I can attack. Okay, hold on. I want to get energy onto Iron Hands. That's going to happen. I'm probably going to have to lose two prize cards because of this. Yeah. Problem is I don't have any energy. So I'm, I'm going to have to sacrifice a boss order on this one. Not a bad sacrifice, though. I'm also giving him a town store, too, so by playing that, it's helping him a little bit. Play the Mew. I'm going to use this just to thin out my deck a little bit. Get two more on the next one. He's definitely gonna retreat that. But I really need the energy more than anything. I know what's happening. I know I'm going to lose two prize cards. It's kind of a given. But at the same time... I can arm press him and then amp you very much. Yeah, and then he can do that. <laughs> He's already building up the next one. All right, he got Yeah, he got one there. Even if you get one with an electric generator, it's a... Still, de it's still decent being able to attach that energy. Yeah, so he's gonna get a little bit ahead of me right now. I'm okay with that. Just trying. That one there for now. I'm gonna have to use another professor. Let's see. 
trying to keep an energy count here because yeah, I run 15 electric energy, so. <laughs> Ten short. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, if I had access to boss's orders, I would definitely amp you very much that uh ride on. Honestly, I'm try I, I think I run a lost vacuum in here. I gotta check. Yeah, he's gonna draw out the Mew. Either, well, not the, no, not the Mew. Maybe the Iron Thorns. Nope, he's gonna draw out that one. Okay, one of the Iron Crowns. I have. That's why I, I held on to that other booster energy capsule. Yeah, he'll be able to grab. He'll be able to put 120 on it, but he won't be able to get a knockout. I will get the knockout. <laughs> Problem is the other Iron Hands will come out after that. So I'm trying to think about. I'm trying to think what I want to do here. He could power up the Ampy very much. If we were to get three more up to 180, wouldn't be enough to get a knockout. Now he's going for the arm press. I think. I want to hold on to that boss order. Play the Arvin, see what we can get. Yeah, let's get that lost vacuum. Get rid of the nest ball. Dude, I, I played almost the same deck he's uh, playing at uh, at uh, Orlando Regionals. And I got lo and that my heavy baton got lost vacuum so many times. I forgot to use me to restart there, but that's okay. I'm in really good shape. I just took half my prize cards. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna try and power up the other iron hands. Do I want to go for the kill on the Maridon or bring out the Iron Hands? Because if I can get the Ampy very much on that thing, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Great minds think alike. That'd be at 120. That does 60 and 120. 120 would be 180. Uh, unless he pulls out the other iron, yeah. I'm trying. I'm trying to think if he can two. If he can two shot the iron hands with uh, peak acceleration, Maridon, and uh, Ampy very much iron hands. The electric generator. Yeah, he's trying to. He got one energy, but he didn't get the other one. Can he? Do he yeah, I don't think he attached an energy yet this turn. Oh, he's going for it. okay. <laughs> I'm boss or I'm gonna boss order out that thing now. I might just go for the arm press on it. <laughs> nah. I don't I don't have any items left in the yeah. I could have gotten the knockout on the Maridon, but if I get the knockout with the Ampy very much on him, he's going to have to retreat. Well, he can always use a future booster capsule. Yeah, he couldn't get the knockout. Yeah, this is game over. Wow. <laughs> he had a. Di he must have had a difficult hand. I can't, yeah. There's another way to describe that. Wow, two iron hands amp amping each other. <laughs> You don't see that every day. 
Then again, you don't see me taking six prize cards in a matter of like four turns. Yeah. <laughs> Good game, guy. This game will be going second. Ooh. This is actually a good, decent second turn hand. <laughs> I like to play Iron Thorns EX though, just because. Uh, oh, I keep getting future decks. What is happening? <laughs> oh God, this person got a Techno Raider. Okay, and they only and they got two Iron Crowns too to start. That's like me, but I at least had the Iron Thorns. <laughs> I'm not going to show off how good Iron Thorns is if I keep fighting future people. <laughs> Dang future people. <laughs> Always time traveling in my yard. <laughs> All right. Play one of those. Might have to discard one. Getting a Techno Radar. The Booster Capsule. That's what I want. Yeah. Okay. Check my radar. Discard an energy. Ride on. And. So she get the other iron hands. Start powering that up. Okay. Peak acceleration. It's a nice solid 100 right there. I don't know how well I'm going to do on this one because I used most of my hand. I, w I wanted to get Mew out, but I did not have a Nest Ball or a Mew. I got plenty of energy. I got, I got plenty of time to do this. <laughs> I kind of want something a little bit more draw power. Maybe a professor's research coming up soon would be great. Nancy X, yeah, he's planning to do the retreat now if he can. There's oh heavy baton. Okay. Oh, couldn't get the knockout. Okay. Ooh, Arvin. Okay. Um, I can make this work. That one there. And I think the Nest Ball. I can get the Knockout on the Iron Crown, but I'm not sure if it's worth it. I mean, two prize cards, though. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, play Iono. <laughs> so I take out one of his. I take out the Iron Crown. I get some energy now. That's the good thing about Maridon. It's one of the great energy. It's what it's what future decks need. They need to pull energy out of the deck. Yeah, perfect. Professor's research. Just what I need. He's gonna probably try to boss out something now. Arvin, yeah. Yeah, he's playing. He's going for a big brain move here. 80, that puts it 80. That that will, the future booster will put it at 100. He's probably going to get one more iron crown and get the knockout. If he does, I'm going to amp you very much. <laughs> yeah, he's going for it. Nope, oh, counter catcher. Oh, I see what he's doing now. <laughs> he doesn't know about the future. I love having a future booster capsule in my deck in my hand. No, he's going for the knockout. Okay. But I can't play. I gotta hold on. To, uh, I can't play Professor's Research then. Oh, he didn't get the knockout. Let I'm gonna let him pull out the Maridon next turn. I'm retreating Maridon. I'm gonna let him pull it out. And I'm gonna, I'm, I don't want to have to sacrifice Booster Capsule. I might have to. I'll hold off. Two 
two prize card lead right now. That's what I want. Or four prize card lead. Ha 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 Oh. Eat dirt, my friend. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to probably amp, amp arm press him. That'll put it at one, let's see, 220. That'll be put him in knockout range. I can arv out, arv out the lost vacuum. He's an electric generator. Wow, he whiffed it. That sucks. Come on, what have you got for me? Come on. There it is. Okay, future on him. Oh, he can get the knockout. <laughs> but he can't retreat. Crap. I was going to Arvin and then Lost Vacuum, one of those things. There's no need to do the... Well, arm press. Oh, he can see it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm too far ahead in prize cards, so... It was really not looking good for him. Just want... One, <laughs> yeah, one future box battle that goes. One battle with it that doesn't involve future box Pokemon. Please let me have that. Okay, Ogre Pond. Okay, but what kind of Ogre Pond is it? Roaring Moon or a ra ra Roaring Moon? Raging Bolt Ogre Pond. Yeah, probably Raging Bolt if he's playing the Earthen Vessel. Electric Energy. Yeah. Yeah, definitely Raging Bolt. Okay, we might be in trouble here. Our low HP EX Pokemon kind of make us... Yeah, kind of. Uh, yeah, it's going to be problematic. And I really don't want to play Iron Hands EX unless... Well... Yeah, he's setting, up, he's setting things up. And I might have to play Iono, which really sucks in order to get some more cards. Stop playing cards. Stop playing cards. Don't play any more cards. Okay. Ugh. Put that on him. I have to. I hate do. I hate playing Iono first turn, especially with this deck. Ugh. Oh, I got the Techno Radar, so that's good. I don't know how many more Ionos I have. But if I play Professor's Research, I probably won't have it anymore. I need, I need the Iron Thorns EX out. Yeah. I don't think he'll Iono me again, but I want to hold on to that other future booster capsule. Yeah, I need Iron Thorns out soon, so. That puts him in knockout range next turn if he keeps the Ogre Pawn out. The one thing I don't like about peak acceleration is it kind of telegraphs what you're trying to do here. I knew he was going to do that. Okay, um. Yeah, I'll screw you. <laughs> no teal masking for, no teal dancing for you. Dang. <laughs> okay, I'll put the future booster on him so that, yeah, that'll put a knockout range. Oh, good. Put the, you can't use it, bro. <laughs> Initialization, bro. <laughs> he still might beat me. Yeah, this is... Uh, if he has the electric energy in his hand, he hasn't attached an energy. Well, yeah, he would have to retreat, have to pay an energy retreat, so... He's not... Yeah, he can't knock out Iron Thorns. Wow, he is at a, he is at a grinding halt. <laughs> Okay, there it is. Crap. You got the electric energy on him. Yeah, that's still not quite. He needs one more energy. 
I don't think he's attached yet for the turn. But he's going to have to discard all the energy, so... Kind of makes me wish I had more Iron Thorns. I should have probably doubled iron, doubled down the Iron Thorns as well. Instead of going for Iron Crown. Bravery Charm, okay. He's not in knockout range. Can't give him. I can't. I want to retreat it, but I can't. Um. Let's Arvin. Pull that, and then. Yes. Yeah. Ah, oh, I had a techno raid already. That's all right. Yeah, that timer comes up, I start panicking. Discard it. I'll put him in 140, 120. Yeah. I don't want to play the I don't want to play the other Iron Crown just yet. One there and one here. Probably should put them both on Iron Thorns EX, but there is a small, small chance he might try to pull back the, he might switch out the other iron, that that Iron Thorns right there. Yeah, that was my that was my biggest concern right there. Is he's gonna teal mask again? I should have kept the Iron Thorns out, but I didn't have the energy. I really wanted the energy. Looking for something. Yeah, another Raging Bolt. Okay, I don't know, dang it. Okay, well, we can't play boss's orders, but he might have Prime Catcher. Prime Catcher? Okay, well, so do I. <laughs> I'm worried if I, if I lose one of this built up Iron Thorns, it's going to be problematic. Which he has plenty of energy to knock it out. He already used Iono, so he's not going to boss orders. Can't use Counter Catcher. I honestly don't think I don't think I don't see too many Raging Bolt people using Counter Catcher. Thunder, yeah, he's going to have to discard two of those Grass Energy. No more abilities for you. <laughs> nice. Alright. Got the prime catcher, but I it would be an, it would be a knockout, wouldn't it? Yeah. I should I should have thought that through more. Maybe I can get lucky with those two electric generator. Yeah. Third 
electric generator. <laughs> I need this plan to work. <laughs> All right. There's, okay. Well, I don't need the other one. out right there he has counter catcher though so Probably gonna pull out Iron Hands. I really regret playing Iron Hands EX now. Or Iron Crown, really. But I am elite. I am ahead on prize cards. Mew EX won't work because of uh, initialization, so. I have to be careful with that. That's my only. That's my only flaw with this deck. I can say there's a, there's a couple flaws, but it's like one of the glaring flaws in this deck. Is that I hate when things. I hate whenever when abilities like clash with each other. At this point, I can always retreat Iron Hands for something else and bring out Mew X. Okay, he's Pokemon Catching. Oh, I hate that. He has Counter Catcher. Why doesn't he just use that? Probably wants to save the Counter Catcher. Well, yeah, the Counter Catcher is kind of situational. I mean, just play the Counter Catcher. Did I play my Switch card yet? I have a Switch card in here for emergencies. There's another Teal Mask Ogre Pond, but it's not going to do you any good, bud. There it is, boss orders. Probably get the knockout on him. I'll let him have that. Because at this point, I mean... There's not too many... I'm not having too many more problems with this deck. Other than the Iron Crown. Teal Dance. Yeah, he'll be able to get the knockout, but he's going to discard. He's gonna have to discard every energy. Unless he has... No, he already used Boss Order. I was going to say Sada's Vitality. And I could use that Pokestop, but I really don't want to. I do have a good amount of items in here. I've already pulled out most of those items, though. <laughs> yeah, really, there's mostly... I think there's mostly energy and... Yeah, he's going to get the knockout now. It's going to take four. So... Yeah, it's, that's almost everything he has. He'll probably have to... He's going to have to discard either the fighting or the electric energy. Oh! Okay, yeah. I, I don't know why. I got, I got kind of shocked there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I can't get a knockout anyway. I look at it. Should I lost vacuum that? Yeah. I might regret that later. Wow, I'm getting lucky with these electric generators. <laughs> I, could, I should have put it on the Iron Crown in case I had to retreat it. I can always put the energy on him. I really don't want to bring out Mew. I mean, I already have an Iron Crown down, so... Yeah, screw it. I 
have the switch cart there. Vault Cyclone. Not much, but it does keep his powers out. I have one energy on each of them in case he tries to counter catcher. Oh no, he can't counter catcher. Well, he's got a Pokemon catcher, and he's got and he's only used I think one boss. And he, he pal patted it back in, so yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna do any good though, that fresh water. Fresh water's mainly fresh water sets mainly a counter for uh counter for Dragapult EX. Because they'd like to spread those damages out. Heals damage from each yeah, each of your Pokemon. Yeah, I was playing I think I was playing a Dragapult variation. Oh yeah, I was testing the Reggie Drago deck. Dang it. I was testing the Reggie Drago deck. He's gonna pull out one of the Iron Crowns. I'm in rough shape now. Yeah. Dang, I should have just stuck with the I should, should have stuck with the iron hands. I had to go for a little bit of a little bit of damage. <laughs> that's the thing that yeah, that's the thing. I always try to go a little too aggressively with this deck. And I, and, I, and the thing is, I made a Raging Bolt deck, so I know exactly how many boss orders in it. There's three of them. And he can probably search out the other. Yeah, he's got all three boss orders in, so I'm not doing. I'm not doing well. Now he has to discard four energy again, but yeah, getting energy on these things is not a problem for him. He's got Earthen Vessels. He's got Sada's Vitality. I'm only counting two. Two Sada's Vitalities. He's, got, he's definitely got two more in the deck. He just used Energy Retrieval. And he's got another Raging Bolt. Yeah, I should have... I think I'm, I'm feeling like I should have put a Penny in here or something. Yeah. Problem is when you put Penny in, it take, puts all pulls all the energy back in with it, which is good. But for this deck, I mean, you gotta have a lot of energy on these guys. Playing Radiant Greninja. Yeah, he's trying. He's trying to get the. What's the word? Oh, I, I think I know what it is. Yeah, he's trying to get. He's trying to confirm the knockout here. Building Thunder. Yeah. He's going to have to discard four energy, though. Yeah, that's smart. Shouldn't have played the Iron Crown. There's nothing else in here I can nest ball out. That would be yeah. He's at one. I'm at, I'm at a very, very big disadvantage right now. Yeah, even if I could boss order something, be, I don't know anything. I can't knock out anything. If this was the Quad Iron Thorns deck, I would be having this problem right now, but he's he's definitely got a boss order somewhere in that, and it, it's, if it's not in that hand... Yeah. I mean, I kind of had to get the knockout on that thing. I, I didn't have to. I could have pulled this out and did some damage. Sorry, Vitality. Okay. Yeah, he's got it. Oh, he brought down Iron Thorns EX. I'll give him credit where credit is due. That was a pretty good match. My mistake playing those Iron Crowns. 
Yeah, I should play. I, I, I. That's one of the biggest problems I have is that they became huge boss order targets, especially for Radiant Charge or not Radiant Charge or Charge RDX. Charge RDX smokes those things hard. All right. Well, hey, it's can't win them all. I actually had a lot of fun with that match. <laughs> And that is going to wrap things up for this video, everyone. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, make sure you like this video, subscribe to Tim Plays Game, and stay tuned for more uh, TCG uh, live videos. Till next time, this is Tim from Tim Plays Game signing off. And have a good night, guys.